In this video, we are going to look at Ptolemy's theorem. Ptolemy's theorem is one of the most famous theorems in plane geometry. We draw a circle and we inscribe a quadrilateral inside the circle. This type of quadrilateral is known as a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic, I think, it refers to the fact that all the vertices lie on a circle. And one of the characteristics is that the sum of the angles, opposite angles, add up to 180 degrees. Now we draw the diagonals and we label the vertices. Ptolemy's theory states the following e equation, which means that the product of the two diagonals, which we see on the right hand side here, is equal to the sum of the products of the two opposite sides, AB times DC plus AD times BC. To prove this, like most theories in plane geometry, we need to add some extra construction lines. In this case, one line. We draw the line AE in such a way that the angle DAE is equal to the angle BAC. So these two angles are equal by the choice of the line that we've made. Now we observe that the triangles AED and ACB are similar triangles. Why? Because this angle here, EDA, is equal to this angle here, ACB, because there are inscribed angles looking at the same arc, and these two angles are chosen. We chose them to be equal, so two of the angles are equal, therefore the third one will be equal, and these two triangles are similar. So we can write the ratio of corresponding lengths, as you see here. And notice corresponding lengths means the ratio of sides opposite equal angles are the same. So DE is opposite this red angle here divided by BC, opposite this red angle in this triangle is equal to AD over AC. Now AD is opposite this angle here, the angle DEA, and AC is opposite this angle here, ABC. If we cross product, we can write the, this relationship at this line here. We also now notice that the triangles AEB and ACD, AEB and ACD are similar. It takes a little bit of deliberation to see this, but these two are similar because this angle here, ABD, is equal to ACD because they are inscribed angles looking at the same arc AD in the circle. Now the angle BAE is equal to the angle DAC because they are both equal to the, this red angle plus this one which is common between the two. So the two triangles have two of the angles are equal so the third one will be equal. Now, if we write the same equations for the ratio of corresponding lengths, we can write EB divided by DC. EB divided by DC is equal to AB divided by AC. We cross multiply. Now, if we take a copy of each of these equations and write them under each other, and we add these two equations, we'll get the left-hand 
adds up and the right hand side is the product or the sum of the product of the opposite sides now if I factorize an AC between these two I get AC times DE plus EB now DE plus EB is the length DB which is the other diagonal and AC is another diagonal so if we substitute for that sum in the brackets as BD we get the relationship that we're looking to prove and this is Ptolemy's theorem if you like this video please click a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video